everyone, I'm Laura Sweezy. I work in adult services at the main library. And today I am going to talk to you about making wreaths out of paper flowers. So the supplies that you'll need from home are a pencil, glue, Elmer's glue works just fine, glue stick would do it too, and scissors. And then from the supplies that we gave you, a cardboard frame shaped like a circle, some book pages, and cardboard flower. This is a quick and easy project that you can complete in about 45 minutes. You will hear me say this a lot. There is no wrong way to do this. Um, you start by making your flowers. You take your little cardboard template that we gave you for the flowers, put it on the book pages, and you just trace. And you can do more than one page at a time. You can even fold the pages in half to make it go faster. Just trace and then cut, cut, cut. First time I did this, I used about 27 or 28 flowers because I like to layer them. But you can use more or you can use less. Again, no wrong way to do this. So I'm folding it in half just so that this goes a little bit faster. And actually, I think maybe I have a few too many pages in here. It's making it hard to cut, so I'm gonna go with three pages at once. Please do not feel bad about cutting book pages. We discard books at the library when they get damaged or wear out. So the pages that we are giving you are from books that all had good long lives, and now they're becoming works of art, which is a beautiful thing. Once you have a good bunch of flowers cut up, it's time to put them to, on your wreath frame. I like to fold the flowers here and there so they pop up a little bit, kind of giving the wreath a 3D effect. You can fold them in half, you can just fold the corners, whatever you want to do. Again, no wrong way to do this. So you can put the glue either right on the flowers, you can put it directly on the frame, I kind of like to put it on the frame. I do a little bit of both actually, but I find that if I put the glue right on the frame, I can manipulate the flowers a little bit easier, kind of move them to the side, whichever way. And you can either attach the flowers in the middle, you can do the petals on the side, whatever you want to do. And there's also the option of putting a side up that's blank, or you can do mostly printed sides up, or a combination. Again, no wrong way to do this.
your petals can be on top of each other, next to each other, overlapping. It's your wreath. You just do what you want to do with it. I like to go around the frame first and just attach the flowers there. And then I kind of go back and add some additional ones. But whatever works for you is just fine. it actually makes the wreath look a little bit bigger if you put if you add more flowers to kind of the outside attaching to the petals that are already there so I kind of like to do that once I've got the the cardboard covered on the frame I'm just randomly putting in here and there folding a little bit as I go You could also make a wreath out of colored paper. You could just trace the flower template onto construction paper or any other colored paper. You know, if you want a little pop of color, either one color or a bunch of different ones, doesn't really matter. You could even do magazine pages, although I tried that and I wasn't real happy with the effect because that paper is thinner than the pages from books and I thought it came out a little bit floppy, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe you would prefer that. It's fun to experiment. Okay, maybe I'll add one or two more. And then I think that I am done. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I like the little pops of white here and there, so maybe I'll do another white one. Just to keep it interesting. Okay, so now you let it dry. And in a minute I will show you one that I made earlier, along with another one that's just kind of funny. That's all there is to it. Let it sit and dry for a half hour or so and it's ready to go and hang in your home. This is one that I made, just kind of a funny one with photos from a book of hairstyles, just, just to be funny. Um, this was not magazine paper, so it's not floppy, it's thicker like book paper and it, it held up kind of well, but it's a little creepy looking. Um, this is the finished product of just the normal one that I did. You can see that I just, attached flowers to flowers and made it a little bit wider. So you can do whatever you want with that. Um, so just cut, glue, and have fun. Thanks for watching.